One value I like a lot this week is Miles Gaskin of the Miami Dolphins. Last week, we didn't see Jordan Howard on this Dolphins team. He was a healthy scratch. Gaskin steps in, sees a huge workload, but really, over the last three weeks, he's seen a nice workload in this offense. He's seen about 70% of Miami's running back rushes per game, about an 18% target share. Those are really, really good numbers. And without Jordan Howard this past week, Gaskin handled all of Miami's work within the 10-yard line, so there's scoring opportunity for him as well. That type of usage at a $5,700 price tag, it's awesome, regardless of opponent. But he gets the Jets defense this week that ranks as the fourth best matchup in adjusted fantasy points allowed to running backs, so Gaskin should find your lineups. I also like Justin Jefferson at $5,900. He didn't come through with a good outing in a plus matchup against Seattle last week, but he's very clearly running as the team's number two pass catcher behind Adam Thielen. Thielen ran 41 routes against Seattle, according to Pro Football Focus. Jefferson was at 40. He's averaging a 24% target share per game over the last three weeks, and this week against Atlanta in a game with an over-under that's currently tied for the highest on this main slate. So he should be a good option for you now that he's under $6,000. And then lastly, there's David Montgomery. Now look, if Dalvin Cook sits out, Alexander Madison becomes the top value play on this entire slate. But look at David Montgomery. Over the last two weeks without Tariq Cohen, Montgomery's seen a nice spike in target share, and that's on top of what he sees on the ground. And now this week, he gets the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers have been the easiest opponent for opposing running backs this year. They rank dead last in adjusted fantasy points allowed to the position. David Montgomery, under that $6,000 price tag, should find your lineup.